heat capacity. What does that mean? Concept of heat capacity. What does it mean by heat capacity? Let's say we have an object. Okay, we have an object. Okay, a block. If we heat this block, we found that the temperatures of the block will change. Okay, like this. Let's say if we heat it, uh, let's say we give it uh, 1000 Joule. We give it 1000 Joule, then we found that the temperature, the temperatures of this block increase from uh, 27 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. The temperature change. It means it increase by 2 degrees Celsius. Increase by 2 degrees Celsius. So from here, we learn that we need 500 joule okay 500 joules to increase the temperatures of the block by one degree celsius right okay 1000 joule eh, can increase the temperature two degrees celsius means that 500 joule eh, can make the temperature change by one degree celsius okay and this 500 joule of thermal energy to change one degree celsius of the temperatures of the block is called the heat capacity heat capacity so what is heat capacity heat capacity is how much energy is needed to change the temperature of an object by one degree celsius how much energy you need to change this by one degree celsius that is, that is called heat capacity so that is the concept of heat capacity now, uh, heat capacity depends on the mass of the object, okay? The mass of the object. Even though the material is the same, let's say this one is iron. This is iron. And let's say I have a smaller iron. And these smaller irons are going to have lower heat capacity. Maybe this one just 150 Joule uh, per degree celsius okay because it's smaller so it need less heat to change the temperature by one degree celsius so that is heat capacity heat capacity is how much thermal energy needed to change the temperature of an object by one degree celsius okay so if the mass is higher then the heat capacity will be higher okay and the liquid with higher heat capacity need more heat supply to change one unit of the temperature okay so that is heat capacity okay let's say initially this is 27 degrees celsius okay let's say above also you give 1000 joule eh? this one you also give 1000 joule now this one the heat capacity is 500 joule for to increase one degree celsius so if you give 1000 joule you give it 1000 joule then it will increase two degree celsius right okay then how about a smaller one smaller one it has lower heat capacity so it need 150 joules to change the temperature by one degree celsius you just need 150 joules eh, to change the temperature this one you need 500 joules to increase one degree celsius but this one just needs uh, 150 joules to increase the temperature so if you give 1000 joules to this block so how much uh, temperature change how many degrees Celsius uh, the temperature will increase? 150 Joule, 1 degree Celsius. Eh? So 150 Joule, uh, 150 Joule, 1 degree Celsius. So if you give 1000 Joule, 1000 Joule, you will make the temperature increase around 7, okay? 6.7, eh? okay? Or around 7 degrees Celsius. So uh, then this will become 34 degrees Celsius, eh? 34 degrees Celsius. So so if you ask which one is hotter, the smaller one, if you give same amount of heat to this two block and the initial temperature is the same, eh? 27, 27, this one you give 1000 Joule, this one you give 1000 Joule, this one will only increase 2 degrees Celsius, but this one will increase 7 degrees Celsius, approximate uh, to 7 degrees Celsius because it has lower heat capacity. Lower heat capacity means that the temperature will change more if the same amount of heat is given.